Yo, what it do, YouTube? It's your boy, JP Productions, and I'm back with another Can You Spot the Problem video created by the man himself, JP. Now, this isn't going to be any regular Can You Spot the Problem. This time, we're going to be looking at shooting. So here's how it's going to go. I'm going to show you a clip of a shooter shooting their shot, and you'll have to guess what that shooter may be doing wrong. Now I understand that when it comes to the art of shooting, there could be many different things to look at, so I'll be sure to give you a little hint. The only hint I'll tell you is if it's a part of the shooter's lower body or upper body. Now let me not hold y'all up any longer, let's see how you do. Not sure if you caught it, but if you did, then yes, peep the release on his follow through. Notice how the shooter's ring and pinky finger are pointing towards the ground the most. Whenever you see that on a player's release, that basically means that they release the ball off of their ring and pinky finger, which is a big no-no. The good old hitch. Something I wouldn't recommend, but there are some shooters out there that could flat out shoot the rock with one. When it comes to the NBA, you got guys like Larry Bird, Michael Red, and others. But also, just in your neighborhood gym, you would think due to the fact that a person has a hit shot, they can't shoot. But in reality, he's got a burner. Once again, having a hitch is something I would never teach or recommend to a player. But if I were to ever come across a shooter who was a flat out knockdown shooter, but had a hitch, I wouldn't worry about it. Notice how this player is shooting a regular set shot. He's not shooting forward, he's not shooting up and down, but he's jumping backwards. No player should ever jump backwards while shooting the basketball unless you are shooting a fadeaway. Other than that, you should either be jumping straight up and down or sweeping your feet forward while your back will naturally fall back and you call that the sweep and sway. Coaches always say to start and finish the ball on the strong side of your body, or you should always shoot through your strong side of your body, which I do agree on, but there are many great shooters out there that have mastered their own shot. Some may have a mid-line shot path like Steph Curry, D'Angelo Russell, and more. As long as you get buckets and you can score no matter the situation, then you are Gucci.
When it comes to shooting, it's best to keep things as simple as possible. And when it comes to our offhand, it's important to keep it nice, steady, and out the way. If you're a big Curry fan, you might have noticed how every time during his workouts, his offhand touches his shooting forearm. This is called the offhand touch. This is something that I picked up on for my shot as well. This helps players with terrible offhands and gives their release and better balance throughout their shot. After releasing the basketball, no matter if it's contested or you're free with time and space, you should never raise your shooting arm up anymore after your release. Whatever angle that your arm is at, keep it at that angle. There's no need for you to raise it upwards anymore. You're just adding unnecessary steps to your jump shot that will have no positive benefits whatsoever. Alright, I'm gonna shoot it through my left eye. No, 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 no. I gotta shoot through my right eye. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, be sure it goes to my right eye. Then be sure that my hand... No, 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 my... Wait, what? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotta be sure my elbow is at 90 degrees exactly. Once I do that, it's gonna be perfect. For the finale, yes, this one was probably the easiest out of all of them, but hey, there are some people out here that's not educated, so let them learn. When shooting the basketball during a game, let your muscle memory kick in. Stop worrying about your elbow being at a certain degree or where your set point is at. Just stop thinking and shoot the ball. Be sure to spam that like button and subscribe if you are new. If you want me to make a part 2 for my hit series of Can You Spot The Problem Shooting Edition, just let me know down in the comments and let me know how many you got right. It's your boy JP, till next time.